Hey, what's going on? It's yours truly, Kelly Mack. And, um, you know, I was compelled to do this video tonight because I've had so much on my mind over the last few days. Um, for those of you all that follow me on Facebook, of course, you know that on Friday I was in Detroit, Michigan, uh, supporting a friend who lost uh, her sister, also her best friend, and also someone that I knew um, since the beginning of my career. Uh, a lot of people don't know that I did start my career in radio as a part-time receptionist making $8 an hour. Yes, $8 an hour, uh, 29 hours a week, and I had to pay $6 a day to park, and I was a single mother. Now, I say all that to say that the Lord has brought me very, very far, and it was a very humbling experience to be around people that were there in the very beginning when I was just Kelly that sat at the front desk at Radio 1 in Cleveland, Ohio. So I am very thankful for that. Um, you know, Friday was a rough day in a sense that a friend of mine laid to rest someone that was a sister, a best friend, a confidant, a mentor in her life. And I realized that when it's all said and done, all the struggles we go through, all the BS we go through, all the hurt, the pain, it's all left behind. It really don't matter when it's all said and done. And regardless how much we struggle in life, things can always be better, no doubt about it. But also things can always be a lot worse. My God, I mean, to see somebody lowered into the ground and, and, it's, and it's it, you know what I'm saying? You know, funerals and, and burials and all that is for the living because the dead, they're gone and, and, and hopefully in better places. And we all know that Lisa, the person I'm speaking about, is in a better place, but it just brings everything to perspective, you know, and I share that with you because I realize there's a lot of things and people that I'm passionate about in life that I've been sleeping on. And I will reveal those things over time because right now it ain't all about me. But I went to church today and the word that I got is, you know, you got something to do, get it done. Pastor Wilder uh, over at Enon Tabernacle Baptist Church, tongue twister there, was saying that God despises laziness more than he despises an adulterer or a drunk. Now, he says it's not cool to go out and get all drunk and, you know, fornicate and stuff, uh, listening to that word. But he despises laziness tremendously. So if you got something to do, get it done. Quit dragging your feet. Quit waiting for the perfect time because the perfect time will never arrive. Shout out to my cousin Princess, a.k.a. Cynthia Harris Redmond in Cleveland, Ohio. I remember when she first got pregnant, she was like, you know, Kelly... I've always wanted a child and I've always waited for the right time. She says, but I realized the right time was never going to come. And now I'm having my child and it's all good. And those are words that always stuck with me through life. There's never going to be a right time that just appears. So do what you got to do. Quit dragging your feet. Life is too short. You never know what tomorrow holds. You may not make it to the next day. Your friend, your sister, your cousin, your child, your mother, your grandfather, your boss. Tomorrow's not guaranteed to any of us. So live each day as if it's your last. Do what you want to do. Keep it moving and always have a plan and something to look forward to you. Two. All right, got a little stomped up there because I feel like I'm speaking to myself, but I did this on video because I wanted to share. And this is something I'm going to continue to do over time. Um, God willing, I'm going to make the time because Lord knows I work nine to 14 hour days sometimes, but I will not complain. All right, having said that, love you. Appreciate you checking out the video and I hope to talk to you soon. By the way, you are in my bed. Yep, this is my brown leather headboard back here. And this is my silk uh, comforter, satin comforter. And uh, yep, that's my pillow right there, my therapeutic pillow. No makeup on my face. I do got earrings on and that's it. This is Kelly, me being me. Y'all have a great week and uh, keep your head to the sky. Peace.